Okay, got a question from Zachary. And before we begin, Zachary, I, I have to say something. Um, you're going to ask me to critique another trainer's materials. I'm never comfortable with, with it, even when I've done the program myself. But I'll be honest and as I can with you. I am currently doing a Jim Wendler program three times a week that includes the four big barbell lifts and supplemental work. Uh, and of course, Wendler would be bench, squat, deadlift, and military press. We had great success with it in in-season training back in the day. And uh, Bigger But Boring is a wonderful program for high school kids, especially uh, for those of you who don't know, that would be his basic 531 program. Um, and the way we did it was if you did the military deadlift day, you did five sets of 10 with the bench press squat. And then the other day on the bench press squat day, 531, we did the military and deadlift the five sets of 10 and go much lighter than you think. Um, the back squat is currently irritating my back and I'd like to take a break from it for a while. In the meantime, I'd like to do the kettlebell front squat as a substitute. Well, it's fine with me. I mean, to me, that's a logical thing. One thing you'll notice when you do the double kettlebell front squat is that your anaconda strength, your, your internal pressure really builds up, which is literally back bracing work. It's And so you're, you might protect your back. Now, this would be something Stu McGill's told me. Uh, I'm no expert here. I'm just quoting smarter people than me. But the double kettlebell is like doing the zercher squat where you have the weights inside your elbows. So, yeah, you might you might find that that exercise makes you brace harder here, which will do a lot more protection for your back. Um, and the other thing you might want to think about when I did five, three, one, I did front squats uh, because I had no interest in driving. my. When I drive my back squat up, my belly gets huge. So I'd much rather front squat and boy, I tell you another one. I mean, double double kettlebell front squat. Heck, even the overhead squat might be a fun thing to play around with. Um, I, I always worry about this kind of question because I don't feel like I need to give you permission for making an intelligent decision. But I also understand how difficult it is, you know, when you're out there because I've been there myself, where you're getting hit with all this information. If you don't make, you know progress on this program. You're just a pansy and you're not tough enough. You know, I, and I hate that macho posturing. And I've met some of the people who've done this. And honestly, in real life, they're not like that at all. They're, uh, so it bothers me when they have this, there's a, uh, there's a word called persona, persona. And it, uh, the word personality comes from it. And it really means that, uh, my personality is the noise, so, so, sonar, sonic. My personality is the noise that I make. Uh, the other day we we're joking about this thing called the bro sauna. You know, that's the whole, hey man, you ain't tough enough, man. You come to my gym, I'll show you what skull crushers are like. Bro, hey, it's all you, man. You just gotta be tougher. If you, you're not bleeding on the bar, you're a pansy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's your bro sauna, which I thought was hilarious, but. I might be all by myself there. So yeah, let's do this, Zachary. Do it. And I need a I need a small favor from you. Keep your reps on this, keep them a little bit higher. And all you're doing is you're just gonna do the double kettlebell front squats. Keeps keep the reps higher than the five three one. I would say like, I mean, probably eight to tens and just live at that. Do a couple sets of eight to ten and just see how that back responds, okay? It's an interesting question. You have my permission anytime, any place to replace anything you'd like, okay?